Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur, and welcome back to another game guide video for Mods Online 2. And today we're playing on version 1.0.4.21. So in this video, I just want to talk a little bit about um, cooking and how you can cook up a nutritious meal for yourself and for others. Okay, so, uh, so as you know, cooking is a is just like all the other uh, professions in this game uh, it's complex and uh, and it does it's not as straightforward as you might find in a lot of other MMOs for example uh, there are no preset recipes and there are no set ways of cooking of doing things and it, and it is the same with cooking so when you first start out in cook uh, in playing this game and you try to do cooking uh, you might be a little bit confused as to where to go and where to start. So, um, so my suggestion would be for you to first train up your cooking skills, and I would recommend that you uh, read the cooking books. So you have cooking here, which is the prep, uh, parent skill for cooking, and uh, so you you should train this up. And don't worry about advanced cooking unless you really want it, because it is a primary. So train up cooking, and then also under crafting appliances, you should train this up as well. Train this first, crafting crafting appliances. And then underneath that, you have cooking tools. And then underneath that, you have different, uh, you know, different cooking cooking tools, and they all have their own skills. So I have chosen to use the cooking pot and I have it at 81 and so I, I have read up the books and right now I'm still reading up the okay, so it's almost done vegetology because I am I will show you why I chose that skill later on and there is also the material law so uh, where is that material law and so depending on what you choose to cook, most likely it's going to be under animal materials and possibly botany as well. So for every ingredient that you want to cook, you need to train up the skill because otherwise you'll get really bad results, sub-optimal, subpar results. So, uh, so I'll show you where, the, where you can get the cooking skill books. And this is of course, Assuming that you are in Fabrenum. Let me just go from here. Now, if you're in another town, then obviously the location of the librarian will be different. That is through here, isn't it? Okay, so Material Law Librarian is here. And you have Botany Law and animal materials so they're all in different uh, different librarians so crafting librarian I think he has the um, actually I think he might might be here common librarian what I have for you. yep cooking is here cooking tools cooking pot Please, and so so just come here and get the uh, skill books for the cooking skills and then down the bottom on the first level you have librarians for the uh, you know if you're cooking like pig meat for example then you go to the animal material librarian like so flesh law and you probably find pig meat somewhere pork law and likewise with botany Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so once you've trained up those the skills that you need or want, then you will need to get a cooking tool. Now, of course, you can cook uh, soup, cold soup, with without a cooking tool, but, but in this video, I'm assuming that you want to cook up something that is a little bit more, um, that's something that's cooked. And so you can come here and use the campfire. Let me show you 
and cooking vendor will sell you the tools that you want so depending on uh, which skill you train into then you get the appropriate appliance Welcome back anytime. okay so now that you have the skills and the tools now it's time to choose your ingredient and so you would get your cooking pot and I'll just just as, as an example I'm not I'm not actually gonna cook it I'm just gonna show you how to do it so let's say you want to cook up something like a boiled pig with white cavolo then hey wait <laughs> yeah the thing you the thing with um okay so I've got the uh put all the stuff Okay, so you go to the campfire and you drop your appliance and the ingredients into the uh, into the boxes below. Now, one thing to note is that if you don't put any water or like a liquid substance, then what you would get is a fried um, fried food. So if I cook this just with the pig meat and the white cavolo, then I'll probably get something like a, a fried pig with white cavolo. However, um, uh, where's that uh, food? So if you look at this, I actually made the sapid boiled pig with white cavolo. I used purified water. And so if you, if you use like a liquid substance with the cooking, then you will get a boiled food as opposed to fried food that doesn't have water in it. And so you can easily get a, um, you can easily get purified water in town. And I do believe that in this game, they may have or may not have uh, implemented uh, obtaining purified water in the uh, upper streams, like you, like you used to be able to do in Mortal Online 1. Okay, so purify water is here and it's only two cuprum. So you can actually get a thousand units of purify water with 20 silvers. So, and of course, if you want to add, I'm not sure if you can add all these other ingredients into the food, but, and now water is, um, you probably, you probably don't want to use um, water because it does have a bit of, um, uh, food poisoning value compared to purified water which has none or at least not that much <laughs> um, so water is definitely not as good as purified water for cooking uh, now water I would probably use for casting spells and purified water for cooking okay so that's just uh, now I'm not here to tell you what what to use to cook because that's really up to you um, that's the that's the beauty of this game is that you can really make something that of your own creation and it, it is not um, there is no set ways of cooking a meal you can really set the parameters and dictate uh, what ingredients to use and how much and so if you if you play this game long enough you will find that people have come up with all kinds of um, uh, different recipes and all of which are their own creations and so I want to talk a little bit about um, I'll talk about the another thing about cooking as well um, and I'll just bring up my statistics so here you see hunger now hunger is a value that will go up over time and so what you want to do is when you want to create a food what you want to do is you, you want to create something that will add uh, nourishment to both health, stamina, and maybe even mana if you need it. So um, if you were to just eat the fried, let's say a fried pig meat, you really only be uh, replenishing one, at least one of the uh, reserves. So I see so you can see here there's um, health reserves, mana reserves, and stamina reserves. Now these are used up gradually as you play the game. And once they drop below a certain level, you start to get a, um, 
you start to get a great bar accumulating across from the right on your health, stamina, and, and mana nourishment. Now, I've talked about this a little bit on, in my Mortal Online 1 uh, cooking game guide video, uh, and they have brought this, uh, imported this into Mortal Online 2. They have brought this system into Mortal Online 2. So what you want to do is you want to create a food that will replenish uh, all three nourishment, uh, all three reserves. So that's your health, mana, and stamina. So what I've done with my boiled pig with white cavolo is this food adds not only stamina nourishment, but also health nourishment. Um, now, if you, if you were to look at just the individual ingredient, white cavolo, for example, doesn't add very much health nourishment. In fact, it only adds 0 0.230. However, it adds uh, quite a high amount of stamina nourishment and also mana nourishment. Stamina nourishment and mana nourishment, I should say. And now with my boiled pig with white cavolo, it adds not only health nourishment, but stamina nourishment and a little bit of mana nourishment as well. Yeah, stamina nourishment and mana nourishment. And so that's that's really what you want to achieve. You want to create a food that adds all three nourishments once you eat the food, because uh, it doesn't matter what food you eat, it's going to cause the hunger value to go down. So if you only eat, let's say, uh, step, uh, you know, white cavolo, then you really only been uh, replenishing your stamina nourishment and mana nourishment values, and not really your health nourishment. And that's and that's probably not ideal because when you play the game, you'll be depleting all three reserves, especially if you're a mage. Now, if you're not a not a mage, then most likely your health nourishment health reserves and stamina reserves will be going down and not so much your mana reserves. But if you're a mage or a hybrid like me, then you probably want to focus on all three. You want to cook a food that will replenish all three reserves. And so what I've created is by no means the best or the, um, <laughs> the most advanced or the most uh, nourishing food, but it is what I have come up so far and it, 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 it Probably will serve me well for the time being, but of course in future I will probably want to cook something that's a little bit better and that will uh, replenish more of my health, stamina and mana reserves. Okay, so that's what you want to achieve um, because when you want to eat something, you want to eat something that's going to uh, add the most value to your reserve, all three reserves, um, not just one or two, but all three. Okay, but... Uh, but keep in mind as well that uh, if you eat too much, uh, you know, if you eat too much food that has a uh, high health nourishment value, just keep in mind that your um, that your weight will go up, and as your weight goes up, your character's physical appearance will change, as will the uh, attributes. Let's say, let's say if I become obese, uh, my character will look fatter, and I think it also add. Uh, constitution I think and intelligence but it will decrease my dexterity and possibly strength as well and uh, and likewise if you lose too much weight then you will start to your character will become skinnier in appearance and also uh, you know the attributes will change as well you get you get some buffs and debuffs to your attributes so so that's another thing to keep in mind uh, sometimes it may not be a good idea to eat too much uh, food that adds too much health nourishment and other times it may be the best depending on what situation you're in like let's for ex let's say for example let's say for example you died too many times and your uh, and your health reserves have gone down a lot so what you want to do is eat something that's going to add a lot of um, health nourishment add a lot of a lot to your health reserves and maybe even stamina reserves uh, so it, it really depends on the situation that you're in and what you want to replenish. Okay, but uh, most of the time, I think you really want to add, you know, uh, create a food that will replenish your stamina reserves and your health reserves. And if you're a hybrid like me, then you want to add, uh, eat something that replenishes your mana reserves as well. 
Okay, so that's uh, that's just a brief uh, a brief guide on cooking. Now, of course, cooking is probably um, a lot more complex than this, but this is just probably the basics. And so, I hope this helps you um, because I do know that uh, you know I think a lot of players are you know when they first come in they're only scratching the surface of a lot of the systems in this game, and a lot of players probably will. Uh, probably will not, uh, you know, fully uh, experience what this game has to offer with its systems. So, um, so I hope this video will help you to understand the cooking system a little bit more. <laughs> and and so um, and so I hope, hope that this will help you to cook something that's nourishing for yourself and for others because. Um, you know, not only can you cook the food for yourself and for your friends, but you can also sell it on the market. And if you cook something that's really good, then you can make a lot of money with it. And, and it's very likely that, uh, actually, let me just check. Let me just check the, uh, wait, <laughs> the broker. Let's check the, uh, no, I think it's, uh, Where's it under consumables? So there you go. So there's people selling. Oh, look at this. See, this is what I mean. Um, so they've roasted white cavolo. <laughs> okay. So what is this? Fermented emulsion. <laughs> so I, I don't know what this is. I, oh, this is. Oh, okay. So this is actually a potion. This this will be considered more as a as a potion for mages. I mean, if you look at the mana nourishment, it's two hundred nine point two two four. But there is a little bit of poisoning, so you probably can't drink too much of this without getting sick. But it's kind of like um, you know, this would be kind of what I would consider to be the equivalent of um, drinking a potion. That gives you that replenishes your mana, but if you drink too much of it, then you're going to get sick. So, all right, let's see what else. Okay, so this is a this is a proper potion, but this is a a food, um, but it it can be considered a type of potion, but it's made using cooking, I think, or maybe use some other appliance to make it. So this is a potion. So what is this? Some kind of liquid. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. It's a weight reduction potion. See, this is what I mean. This is why I say this game has the best crafting system I have ever seen in any MMO. I mean, not even Ultima Online can come close to this. This is, this is literally, um, Anything goes. You can make anything, practically anything that you can think of within the game's uh, mechanics and parameters. Look at this. This is this is different to what we looked at earlier. Ambrosial pot baked water. So someone baked water and... And actually this is not too bad. Stamina nourishment. So this is actually pretty good. <laughs> so you can really cook up a lot of different things and it really it comes down to your imagination wow this is what is this so there's a lot there's actually a lot of different stuff that you can cook and make in this game so I won't uh, I won't go through it but there's Okay, so there there is a lot. Okay, so that's just a this just gives you an idea of how of what is possible in this game, and that's and what I've shown you is probably just scratching the surface. Okay, so I hope that this video is helpful to you. And so if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do leave it in the section below, and I will try my best to answer them. 
please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and hit the bell icon so that you get notification for the uh, anytime there's a new video or something new and please do also share this video um, on uh, different uh, social media and 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 so forth so I look forward to seeing you guys next time but for now thank you for watching this is fine gaming connoisseur take care and have a good day